Now we're going to look at question six. A uh, tank is filled with water from a pipe. The water flow is regulated by a floating Volcock system to switch off the flow at a desired height B. The flow Q is proportional to B minus H. So let's look at this system. Okay, so we know that the rate of change of height in the tank, so the rate of change of height, is going to rely on the flow. Okay, so we've got the flow coming in. Okay, and what we can say is that the rate of change of height, hs, s is uh, dh by dt, is equal to flow divided by the area, if it's a direct proportionality. So we'll start off with that one. Okay, and we also know, because we've been given in the question, that the flow rate, q, is equal to b, the desired height, minus the Bullcock height, the actual height itself. In other words, when the actual height is zero, the flow is going to be very fast, and when the height is equal to B, then the flow is going to be zero, so it's going to switch off, okay. So we can then substitute the Q here. So we have HS is equal to B minus H over A, like that. Okay, now we need to just solve for height because it asks for the transfer function where height is the output and uh, B is the input. So we can just solve, take A over here. So AHS is equal to um, B minus H. Um, we can just do a bit of solving around, take out height uh, on the left hand side, uh, put A onto the right hand side, and we'll get H over B is equal to. Um, 1 over a s plus 1, which looks familiar. That's the first order transfer function. Okay, now the second question asks for a simulation diagram. So I'll keep these equations on the left hand side and let's have a look at the simulation diagram. Okay, so simulation diagram starts off with b is the input and let's have a look. So we've got b uh, minus h is the actual q value. So just looking at these equations here, so we've got this subtractor here, so that must be height along the way. Okay, so we'll work with this. So this is basically saying this. Okay, so q is equal to b minus height. Okay, so let's move on. So we've got some relationship with height, so height has to come out of here somehow. So how does Q relate to height? Well, going back to this equation here, where HS is equal to Q over A, we can say, okay, if we divide Q by A, we then have HS. Okay, so this bit here is basically saying this one here. Okay, so we've got HS, but we want to have the output of H on the simulation diagram. How do we get that? Well, we just need to divide through by S. So I can say, okay, if we have one over S here, then the output is height. Now what one over S actually is, is an integrator. Remember differentiation is S. So one over S is the inverse of differentiation, which is going to be integration. Okay, so now we've got a height, we can tack off this height and we have it right there. So that is the simulation diagram and they're already labelled for us as well. Okay, then part C says use a simulation diagram and the closed loop transfer equation to, uh, to make sure that this one uh, agrees, so that this equation that we, we got in A uh, agrees. Okay, so the um, closed loop simulation diagram is g over 1 plus g h, uh, which is given to us in the question. Okay, now g is this top part here. Okay, so g is going to be 1 over a s over 1 plus 1 over a s again. And H is just going to be one. It's just a it's just a, a wire, if you like, with a gain of one. Okay, so then we can solve for that. Okay, and what we get is solving through. We have one over a s over 
AS plus 1 over AS. Uh, invert and multiply, which is equal to 1 over AS plus 1. So you can see that the two do actually equal each other. Okay. Now D is saying um, if A is 2 and B is 5, Use the transfer function to calculate the length of time it would take to get to 99% full. Okay, and there's an example there. 5 tau is 99%. So basically, we need to calculate tau from our transfer function. So tau is here. So the standard form of the transfer function is k over tau s plus 1. Okay, so if we match that up with this one, we have k is equal to 1 and tau is equal to a. So we have 2s plus 1. So in other words, tau is equal to 2, and 5 tau is equal to 10 seconds. OK. E states, if the mechanics of the system was modified so the flow q was equal to 2 times b h, Solve the new transfer function and prove whether the time is halved. OK, so let's look at uh, part E. So here, it's the only difference is that um, there's a gain involved. OK, so just going back to the equation up here, this bit here is multiplied by 2. OK, because is this bit is multiplied by 2. OK, because that's what we've um, stated in the question. So if you re if we go through those equations again, we have HS is equal to 2 B minus H over A. OK, solve for all of this and we get H over B is equal to 2 over a s plus 2. Now to get it into the standard form of, of the one that we've used here, we need to have that as a 1. So I'll rewrite that so we just divide everything by 2. So we're going to have 2 divided by 2. That's 1 over a divided by 2. Okay, plus 1 like that. Okay, uh, and you can see here that tau is actually a half. So, sorry, there's an S there. So, the new tau is equal to A over 2. Okay, so that would be um, 1. Uh, so, 5 lots of that, it would take 5 seconds to fill up. And therefore, we're saying that it's, it's, it's actually halved to get there.